go goop it, goop it, goop it. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So it is officially day six of my seven days of Halloween. Oh my god, this challenge has been so draining, but I'm happy it's almost at an end. Anyways, today we're doing a butterfly queen inspired makeup tutorial. Um I have this wall of butterflies on my in my room and I was kind of inspired to do a butterfly queen kind of makeup look so anyways let's just jump right in so first off I'm taking my black opal pencil in licorice I'm using that to um, draw my brows that's I want to really dark brows for this look so I've primed my eyelids with my concealer now I'm going in with my beach cosmetics 120 first edition palette I'm using the yellow shade in that palette and I'm just using that as my transition color <laughs> Once I'm done applying that yellow shade, I'm going to go into the orange shade from my um, Barry M Fall in Love palette. Sorry, I didn't show you guys that palette, but anyways, I'm using that orange shade from the palette to um, buff into the lower part of my eye. Once I'm done with that, I'm also going to take this orange shade from that 120 first edition palette and add to it. So because I wanted the orange to shimmer a bit, I'm going into my Nuban Beauty palette and I'm taking, there's a shimmery orange shade inside the palette. I'm just going to take that orange shade and just buff it on top of the first orange shade that we put on. So now going into my Barium palette, I'm taking uh, the maroon red in that palette and I'm applying that to the edge of the eye. And um, guys, I lost so much clip from this like video. like. A lot of clips I don't know they just said they were corrupted they couldn't play so I'm so sorry guys if the video jumped a bit so anyways um, I uh, I'll just say what I did I um, lined out the eyes like a cut crease to have the shape of a butterfly that's just basically it so anyways I've outlined most of my butterflies <music> I'm done outlining um, I've painted most of the inside of the butterfly I used a mixture of purples blues um, deep blue um, sky blue and pinks inside this one so I'm just going to outline the other half of the butterfly black then taking my white face paint I just painted random dots inside the black area so I've already painted the top butterfly um, a an ombre orange entering into like a maroon red so now I'm just like doing some finishing touches so the idea I wanted for this butterfly was for it to be like perching on a flower so I'm just going to draw out the flower right now um, I kind of wanted from the reference picture that I saw it was like a white um, I don't know would I say a peony or I don't really know the name of this flower but I'm working with a reference picture for this one so once I'm done drawing the flowers, I'm just going to add some shading under the flowers so it doesn't just look like a painting on my face, it kind of gives it some definition or gives, gives it a kind of 3D feel. So I'm adding some shading all over, I'm, I'm sorry if I keep looking sideways, I'm looking at the reference picture. So I'm adding some shading underneath the petals and inside the petals just to give it some 
definition and life. I'm done applying all those shadows underneath the petals of the flower and I'm satisfied um, I'm just basically showing you guys what I've done so far so now um, I'm just going to go into the last butterfly I this time around I went in with some um, green for this one and some um, red some green and red ombre together for this one so once I finish doing that, I'm just going to um, um, start outlining inside the butterfly to give it some definition or to give the wings some definition. So now once I'm done um, with the butterflies, I'm just creating a lot more flowers or a lot more, uh, yeah, a lot more flowers for, um, to complete the painting. So I added some whites and some yellows like I did, but a smaller version of the first flower that I did. So yeah, I'm going to do that and basically the canvas of the, of the painting is almost finished. So I'm gonna add some details to the butterflies, adding some white dots into the black area and yeah. So now I just done my entire face. I didn't want to start off with my foundation so the foundation doesn't mark into or the color of the foundation doesn't stain the paint. So anyways I've done my foundation highlighted and contoured the other side of my face since there was nothing there. So now to finish up this butterfly, I'm just going to cast a shadow underneath the butterfly so it looks like it's landing on my face to give me that kind of 3D effect. So now once I'm done with that, I'm going in with some orange eyeshadow on my lower lash line and then I'm gonna highlight my cheek or the other cheek and my nose and my cupid's bow. Once I am done with that, I'm just going to go into my chest space to um, finish off the butterfly masterpiece. So I'm just going to outline um, butterfly, like the design of a butterfly wing. If you see me looking, like I said, I'm looking at a reference picture of a butterfly wing. So I'm just outlining that on my chest area. Once I'm done with that, I painted it like an ombre, going from yellow to red to orange to um, pink to uh, purple. So, so I painted it an ombre color. So now once I'm done, I'm just taking some black into all those spaces. I'm just going to paint all those spaces black. And then I'm going to basically reciprocate what I did on my um, butterfly. So black then. In the black, I'm just going to put some white dots. So once I'm done with that, I'm just going to go into the lips. For the lips, I'm just lining my lip with the black pencil. And I'm kind of doing the ombre that I did on my neck area. I'm doing that on my lips now. 
so yeah once i'm done with that the look is complete i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial this butterfly queen tutorial i enjoyed creating it and yeah okay guys thank you so much for tuning in today i hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to also share and um yeah stick with me tomorrow is going to be the last day of this seven days of halloween and tomorrow is halloween so um yeah i will see you guys tomorrow bye